Hello everyone, this is Dan Rosenberg, uh, AEC Solutions Engineer with Hagerman & Company. Um, for this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about some great things you can do in Navisworks. Um, most people think that Navisworks is typically used for clash detection, and of course it is used for that, and it's an excellent tool, but there's a uh, whole lot of other things that you can actually do with Navisworks, and uh, you don't even need the Navisworks Manage uh, version to do what I'm going to show you today. You can actually use the Navisworks Simulate version. Um, but uh, here's here's my scenario. So what we're looking at here is maybe maybe I've got a little schematic design I've been working on, and uh, maybe clients coming in in a little bit. And of course, you can see we're looking at at our Revit model now, um, and I'm just doing a little orbit here and kind of looking through this little tunnel design I've created for either a, maybe like a railway tunnel or a, a drive-through tunnel for a park, kind of a sculptural element kind of deal. So I want to kind of do a little orbit around here, maybe do a little fly-through underneath the structure, but I can't really easily do that in Revit. Um, what I can do is I can do some setup inside of Revit. Uh, to uh, get this started and make it go a little smoother in Navisworks. So I've already set up uh, some views here. Uh, of course, we've got our uh, America's favorite plumbing consultant, as always, to help us out. And I've got a whole set of views here, which you can see. I'll go through these one at a time. So I've got a front view, front right. So I've got eight total views here going around the whole thing. Back left, left, left front, and then I've got one here for front entry and then the rear exit. So you'll see what we're going to do with these um, once we uh, put them into Navisworks. Um, Alright, so let's uh, bring up Navisworks here. So I've already got my file um, loaded in here. Now this is very easy to do. Um, all you have to do is go to append, browse to your Revit file, and it will uh, load in your Revit model directly. It's not actually directly opening your Revit file, it's creating uh, NWC, which is a Navisworks cache file. So uh, to make our little animation, we're going to be using the animator tool located right here. Um, Again, on the Home tab, click Animator to bring that up. Okay, so I've already created a little scene here, so I'm going to play it for you, and then I'll show you how to make one. So the end result of what we're going to be shooting for today is just a little animation that I can play while I'm either talking to a client or... Uh, other designers and just kind of show my conceptual idea here. So here's my animation is playing. I've got these keyframes that have uh, shown what time I want certain views to show up and it kind of stitches them all together for me. So I'm trying to keep up with it here. Now you'll see we're going to start going inside the tunnel. And this is what it looks like going through it at full speed. And then back out the other end, and we'll go back into a little overview orbit around the whole thing. And I've looped my video, so when it gets back to the front, it will just continue playing. All right, so how did I get that far? Well, so what I did was, uh, I'll expand this a little bit so you can see it. Uh, over here, I click this button to add a scene. Add scene, right clicked on it. Uh, then I added a camera. And when you click on the camera here, you can assign one of your viewpoints. So over here, I don't know if you can see this, I clicked on it pretty fast. The Save Viewpoints tab, um, as long as you have these 3D views saved in Revit, they will come over into Navis. 
So all I have to do is select those and go to the view that I want. So I want to start with my front view. So you can see I can switch to other views. Start with my front view. My slider is at zero and I can assign a keyframe by clicking this capture keyframe button. Then I can either move my slider over to the four second mark or you can type it in up here and then click on your next view, which I don't know why it didn't come in alphabetically, but you can resort them. Um, I'm going to my front right corner and then I'll click key capture keyframe again and then just keep moving the slider down and keep changing my view. And keep going and going and going. And keep adding more and more views. So this would be probably back right. So you don't need to watch me do all of these, but the end result you'd be looking at something like this. You can see when I'm starting to get to the part where it goes to zoom through. Um, if I wanted to slow this down, I could spread out the time on those keyframes. Um, so it's really, you can have a lot of control about how everything gets stitched together. I kept everything in about four second increments, but if you want to slow down or speed up certain parts, just spread the keyframes out and you're good to go. All right, well, I hope everyone found this useful, and um, thanks for watching.